everybody, what's up and welcome back. Well, today we are going to talk about doing a little kayak repair, specifically on my Seaghost 130. I have a little hairline crack right here where the seat goes. Um, it's been something that's happened to a few of the Seaghost. It's something that the, the whole um, Vibe community knows about. And it does happen on some of the kayaks. Not all of them, but every now and then one of them gets this little hairline crack, um, stress crack where the seat's at. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to fix it and... Uh, how you can just get back out on the water. I mean, my crack's not horrible, but it can get horrible if you keep fishing it and you don't repair the, the hole. So stay tuned. We're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna show you how to do it so you know how to fix this yourself. Alright everybody, we're back. So the first thing you guys want to do when you're trying to fix a crack in your kayak and stuff, which mine isn't too bad, and I am going to show you the crack. I'll get the camera up close, but I'm just going to talk about what to do first. Um, the first thing you want to do is clean the area where the crack is at, whether it's on the bottom, top side, wherever you have it and stuff. You want to get some rubbing alcohol, some soap. Um, I'm using rubbing alcohol right here, putting it on a paper towel, and you just want to clean that area really good because you're going to be trying to adhere to it. So you get all the dirt, grime, everything that's in there away from there and do it a little bit further past where you're actually going to be working so you get that area good and clean make sure it's all cleaned up get it out of there and that looks pretty good to me and then we're going to go to the next step but i'm going to show you the crack first so let me run around here kind of show you where the crack's at in the kayak all right everybody i don't know if you can see that that well but i have a hairline crack right here in my kayak there's a crack right there in the seat that's where it's at don't know if you can see that the sun might be hiding it or whatever but that's where my crack is at right here where my fingers at there's a crack right here um, it's probably about an inch or so long and uh, that's what we're working on fixing all right so I hope I have the camera zoomed in enough for you guys to see here but the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take a drill <coughs> we're gonna take a small drill bit probably use the smallest one I got because it's not gonna take much so I'm using a little bitty drill bit this is like a what size is this? This is like a 1 16th. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole on each side of where the crack's at. And the reason why I'm going to drill that hole, if you guys can see me here, the reason why I'm going to drill that hole is that's going to stop it from cracking further. If you didn't do that and you kept fishing on your kayak, you're just going to keep making the crack get worse and worse and worse. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get in here, we're going to see where it stops, and we're going to drill a crack, drill a little hole on each end, and that's going to stop that crack. Now you want to take your time with this. Don't be in a hurry. Find out where the, the end of the, the crack is at. And I just put a hole right there, which will stop that crack from going. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now there's a hole on each side of the crack, so that'll stop the crack from moving any further. That's the first thing you want to do. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, hopefully you guys can see me here, the next thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take this little wire brush and I'm going to scuff this up a little bit here. Just scuff that area a little bit. And the reason why I'm scuffing it up a little bit is so that new plastic that I'm going to use to weld it is going to hold and bite there better. So we're going to scuff it up. Just a little bit. doesn't have to be crazy. And now we scuffed it up. So now it's scuffed up. So now, um, if you guys are wondering where to get a welding kit, I got mine from Harbor Freight. I'm going to show you. So anyway, if you guys are wondering... Where to get one of these this is the welding kit i got Let's see if you guys can see that i got this from harbor freight it's like 16 something and then with shipping it's about 20 bucks to get this it comes with the welding tool the little scrubby thing it shows you on the back all the stuff you got you don't have to buy one of those 60 or 80 dollar ones this one works gonna work just fine and it was really cheap and i'll have it 
for if I ever need to do other repairs. So the next thing we're going to do, I've got that heating up over here. And the next thing we've got to do is we've got to heat up this plastic here. And then we'll take the piece of plastic that came with the kayak and we're going to use that to, to repair it. So stay tuned. Let's get into that next. All right, everybody. So here's the piece of plastic that came with my kayak. This is what I'm going to use. Here's the welding tool, Harbor Freight, about 20 bucks to your door. Um, and this is what we're going to use. And then here's the tool. Here's the tool we're going to use to do it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to heat up the area where we're actually going to weld. That's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to heat that up with this. And then we're going to dip it into the plastic and start welding. So let me get the camera line back up so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so now we got the, the welding tool, everything we're going to use. And what we're going to do is we're going to go here to where the, the actual spot is at. And we're just going to heat that up. This thing is super hot right now. We're just heating that up a little bit. It's kind of a tricky spot to work with. But I'm just running that across there, like so, and you can see it kind of melting. Now we're going to get the piece of plastic. And we're just going to dip this in here. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm just digging into the, the plastic, getting some of the melted plastic off of here, like so. Alright, now we're going to take that melted plastic and we're going to put it on the repair area. And what we're trying to do is just smooth it out as best we can on that repair area. Get a little more. And we're just going to keep doing this until we get the whole area covered. And all I'm doing is sitting here just smoothing it out. Just a little bit more on the end here. Because I'm a better safe than be sorry guy. Alright. And that's it guys. So we set this down. Alright everybody, so that's it. That's the simplest part. I used very little of this, either a little hole right there. That's all I used to fix that spot right there. Um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like now that it's welded done. Alright everybody, I hope you guys can see that. I did the weld. This is the weld. See if you guys can see my finger, but there's the weld right there. It's all welded up, and that should be good. Um, we should be good. So let me get you another angle there so you can kind of see it a little more. All right, everybody, so that's it. That's all it takes. It took me about five minutes to fix this. It took me longer to get everything out here and get it set up and get this camera on and everything set up to even do this than it did to actually fix this this kayak so pretty simple fix just take your time don't be in a rush those wands are very hot so you got to be careful because you end up making a bigger hole if you don't take your time and be careful what you're doing um follow those steps and you should be good to go once that cools down kayak's ready to go back in there you can dump some water on it or whatever you want to to cool it off but um i'm just gonna let it cool down i'm actually gonna throw it back in the trailer it'll be fine and the next time i get out i'll be ready to go and everything will be good to go um very simple steps um not too hard to do. This is a little tricky spot to get into, just so you know. So I really had to take my time with that. But other than that, um, that's how you fix it. It's a simple fix. Um, for those of you guys that have vibe kayaks that have had this happen, that's all you got to do to fix it, and then you'll be back out in the water. You definitely don't want to keep fishing it with the crack not fixed because the crack is going to get worse and worse and worse and worse, and then you're just going to make it worse, and then you can end up taking on water and sinking, and you don't want that to happen, especially for you guys that are fishing offshore. You definitely want to fix it. You also definitely want to do the little drill to two hole thing. That'll stop that crack from progressing because even if you fix it without drilling the two, two, two holes, that crack has already created that stress, and it could end up breaking out from where you fixed it, and then you have to repair it more. So it's better to go ahead and put those two little holes on each end to stop that crack from going any further that'll stop it dead in its tracks and then do your repair and then you're good to go and um that's all there is to it so um hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it helps all you guys out there with kayaks doesn't matter what kind of kayak you have if you have these issues this is a way to fix it um like i said this is um harbor freight this was about 20 dollars to my door it's like 16 something plus shipping it was about 20 bucks to get to the door um perfect for it you don't have to buy those 60 or 80 dollar real expensive ones it comes with everything you need in it other than the, the piece of plastic this piece of plastic with for vibe comes with the vibe kayaks and they stick a piece in there so you can repair your your kayaks with but if you don't have that they actually send you repair sticks in 
the box as well to use to repair things. So they have black ones in there. They don't match your kayak, but it'll fix the hole. So there you go. So this thing comes with the wand. It comes with the brush. It comes with repair sticks. Everything you need to fix it. So there you go. Very simple. Very easy. Um, like I said, it took me longer to get everything out here than it did to actually do it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helps everybody out there that's kayaking. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Do do. Uh, I can't talk. Um, do me a favor, hit that like button, that subscribe button, the ding dong button, all those things you got to do for YouTube, share, everything like that, and then just do yourself a favor, get out there, get your lines wet, and catch some fish.